ride your bike enough and before long, you just might end up getting a saddle sore. But it doesn't have to be inevitable. There are certain things you can do that will reduce your chances of getting one massively, if not altogether. Firstly, what is a saddle sore? Well, there's two types. There's chafage, which just comes from repeated rubbing of the skin. And then, I can't do this without wincing, you get spots or boils, which are actually bacterial skin infections, and they are way, way worse. Now, to combat chafage, the first thing to do is to buy a pair of cycling shorts that have got a pad in them. Now, you can spend loads of money and get really, really expensive shorts with technology oozing out of them, and they will be slightly more comfortable, but the main thing to look at is how well they fit you. Now, first of all, they need to be tight enough on your legs so that they don't ride up. If they're not, and they do end up riding up, then you end up with bunched up fabric, which is really, really bad at causing chafage. Now, if they're tight around your legs, the chances are that they're going to be tight everywhere else as well, which is good. You want things to be snug and not flapping around. I mean, I mean the fabric. The fabric shouldn't be flapping around. Now, rule 101 of cycling is that you don't wear underwear underneath your shorts. Now, if you hadn't heard this before, I'm being completely serious. Do not wear undercrackers under your shorts. This obviously reduces chances of chafage and bunching up of fabric. Now what this means then is you need to be scrupulous with your post-ride hygiene. Wash your shorts after every single ride. Also, don't sit in your shorts for hours after a ride. Get them off as soon as you finish and have a shower. These two things will dramatically reduce your chances of getting those really painful boils. Now, if you're suffering from persistent problems, you should probably take a look at your bike setup. Now, your saddle, of course, needs to be comfortable, but changing it is quite an expensive purchase. So make sure that it is actually the root cause of your problems before plumping and going for buying for another one. It might be something instead like your saddle height. Now, if it's too high, your hips will rock in the seat, which causes your ass to move from side to side and therefore cause that horrific chafage. So potentially, if you lower your seat, it'll stabilize your hips and it'd be better for going faster on your bike anyway. Many people turn to chamois cream if they're suffering from saddle sores, and it does a great job of making things more comfortable by reducing friction on the area. But if your clothing's right and your bike setup's right, I don't think you actually should have it for day-to-day -day riding. However, if you are gonna do a longer ride, particularly in the wet, then it can be a good idea to put some on as a preventative measure. Now, you can either apply it directly to your shorts or to your skin or potentially both. I tend to go direct to the skin because I hate the feeling of pulling on cold, damp, wet chamois. But it's up to you. Now there is, as you'd hope, an etiquette to chamois cream. If you turn up on a ride and you've forgotten some and you're relying on a friend's pot to borrow, whatever you do, don't double dip. Now by that I mean dip, apply, dip, apply. It's just all kinds of wrong. So remember, dip once. <laughs> There's loads of cycling specific chamois cream out there and it's great stuff, but if you get stuck without some, you can turn to something like Sudacrim, which is a nappy cream, and you can buy it in any pharmacy or drugstore. Now, boils are a bit more complicated, and in fact, sometimes need a course of antibiotics if they're actually really lingering, or in the worst case, surgery. That's pretty extreme, so if, as long as you take good preventative measures like keeping yourself clean, that shouldn't be a problem. Now, finally, a myth buster. Gentlemen, there's no need to shave your balls. Not for saddle soreness, anyway. In fact, it probably makes things worse. A guy near me actually tried hair removal cream on his nuts, and apparently it was the most painful thing he'd ever done. They turned bright red and shriveled up. Hairless, but shriveled. And he's still got saddle sores. Lather your legs with shaving foam, and if you're a regular, you can probably manage your leg hair in the shower. Or as Tom's using, the basin. <laughs>